Hi everybody, I'm Steve Levy from The Real School of Music and we're going to continue on with some strumming mechanics today. I want to talk about how the pick actually hits the strings as you're strumming. And what we want to try to do is make sure that the pick is always in like the same plane of motion. You don't really want the pick to be pointing up or down as it moves through the strings. I always try to keep the surface of the pick more or less parallel to the floor when I'm strumming. And I think that that's the best way to get the, the best sound and the most accuracy out of your work. Another thing to think about too is like if you're watching this, you're probably still a beginner, maybe working on your chord forms and switching and stuff. It's perfectly fine to work on your strumming just on open strings of the guitar. And that way, like you're working your right hand, you don't have to wait to catch up to your left hand to know what you're doing. I also want to recommend like finding the best spot where to strum on this area between like the bridge and the neck of the guitar. And you not only get a different sound in each area, but if you were to press down on the strings right at the bridge and then do the same thing more or less in the middle of the sound hole, you're going to find that here there's a lot less physical resistance. And your pick is going to find that too when it's moving through the strings. So as you're strumming back here, you might be exerting a little more effort, whereas here, the pick will more tend to glide through the strings a little more easily. And in terms of like determining the sound that you want, it's pretty subjective. I tend to find the sweet spot in most guitars. I tend to like this part here of the sound hole, maybe about a third of the way towards the bridge. Sounds good to me. Another thing that beginning students tend to do is to hit all the strings in their chord voicing all the time. And so that you get this kind of. And that sounds nice, but sometimes I like to divide the strings up into zones. And sometimes I'll think of like the lower three strings as like my bottom zone, the upper three strings as the high zone, and the middle three strings as the middle zone. And I almost think of them like the way the drummers think about cymbals. You know, they give you like a slightly different sound as you're going. So strumming the same kind of chords, I might have. And it just gives you playing like a little more variety and it sounds a little more sophisticated. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found this useful. I'm Steve Levy and we'll see you in the next video.